Corporate leaders are grappling with a number of issues right now, including economic uncertainty, geopolitical risks, social issues. Our next guest has a front row seat to boardrooms across the country. Let's bring in Ursula Burns, chair, chairman, chairwoman of Teneo and co-founder of Integrum. She is also currently sitting on the boards of Uber, Endeavor, IHS Holdings, and several private companies, and is the former CEO of Xerox, where she became the first black woman to lead a Fortune 500 company. Ursula, it's great to have you on the show. Thanks for being with us. Welcome. Great to be here, Morgan. Very good. Uh, so a number of things to discuss with you, but the first one I do want to start with is the economy, uh, which seems to consume so much of our conversation and so much of our airtime here at CNBC. From your key vantage point, uh, how are companies and different uh, industries uh, across corporate America thinking about the economy and this idea perhaps a, of a soft landing and, and data that's been more resilient than expected? I think that your last statement is what I am hearing and seeing across the board in just about every industry, a softer landing than expected, better performance than um, expected. Not that, not that that necessarily shows up in numbers, but just a, a lot more confidence in the next quarter, um, probably the next two quarters, even with the geopolitical risk, even with the slowing of China, even with the social issues that we're dealing with, most of the companies are seem to be prepared and comfortable with their positions and trying to use this time from a in an opportunistic way. Um, M&A opportunities or investing opportunities, and in some cases, lightening their cost opportunities. So it's been a little bit of a crazy run, if you think about it, because we were all waiting for this big, you know, Damocles to come down, and it just didn't appear. And I think people are now settling into a couple of quarters ahead of time being okay and a little bit of uncertainty that they can deal with and I think a little bit more optimism than um, even six months ago. Yeah, and, and we know that various companies have tightened belts or maybe pulled back on certain types of spending amid the uncertainty this year, yet hiring and the labor market still is going so strong. And yes, job openings, the jolts data has come down a little bit, but it's still much stronger than we typically see. Historically speaking, are you finding that the companies you work with are hanging on to their employees longer. And what does that labor dynamic look like, especially when you do see, for example, certain unions and in certain industries uh, taking a much more aggressive stance right now? Yeah, mo mo the companies I'm in involved with generally are white collar worker employees, so more tending towards that um, demographic, not the mass employment areas. And across the board there, um, I remember when I spoke to you maybe a year ago, we were we were clearly the year of the worker. The worker um, called the shots. There was a huge amount of sensitivity to keeping people in their seats, paying up for jobs, paying up for talent. That's definitely slowed significantly. Obviously, talent, particularly tech talent, is still um, gold. It's like gold, so people hold on to it like you wouldn't believe. But I think a lot more companies, and I think I know a lot more companies are starting to roll back a lot of this um, whatever they want kind of a theory, like anything they want will do. It's let's let's figure out a way to work in this current environment. You know, how many days you're going to come to work. Let's start to normalize pay, not over hiring, as a matter of fact, not literally lightening their load strategically. Um, and technology is helping this a little bit more. And mm -hmm. I'm sure we'll get into that. So there's okay. a whole play a normalization towards uh, just, a, I think, now a little bit more balance. It was the worker before, worker, and then the employee. Now, I think it's a little bit more balanced. And smart okay. companies are using this time to settle.